Hi, welcome to the next edition of the Jank Tank. Today, the deck that won the poll is Throne of the Grim Captain. So this is going to be a Pioneer, of course. Uh, I wanted to play this card eventually this season because it's one of the more janky cards from the set. So that's what we're trying out today. So we have some mixture of dinosaurs, merfolk, pirates, and vampires in our deck to hopefully craft, flip over the Throne of uh, Grim Captain. See if we can't do it in this video. It might not be very likely, we'll see, but our sideboard's filled with potentially decent sideboard, uh, quote unquote, usability um, for those tribes, a mixture of them. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification to be alerted for future videos. We're on our way to a thousand subs. Let's get there together and let's break down the deck list and see the deck in action. So the deck, we have four or our four of our namesake thrones. Seeker Keeper is a way to self-mill, fill our yard up for the Grim Captain. Uh, Siren is one of the better pirates from the new set. Allows us to hopefully fill our yard up. Harvester. Uh, Meyer Triton. Also pretty good at self-milling. Corpse Appraiser. Since we are self-milling, we could eat a card. Dig more. Uh, potentially find another piece. And then we have our removal pieces with Carnosaur and Larcenist. And then we have our ability to give haste, hopefully to our Throne Captain with Olivia. And then we have Rotting Registrar. It's kind of a chunky beat downy uh dinosaur that it's only one black which is quite relevant since we're a three color deck sideboard wise we have firebrand uh it's a pirate it can snipe small creatures thought sees as a way to hate on uh control gatekeeper to hate on stuff like lotus field combo decks that cast a lot of spells in a given turn we have uh, rampaging frostodon for the life game based strategies, also pretty decent uh, against Amalia, so that's pretty important. Tide Binder is our choice of counter spell since it is a merfolk. And then we have Cali Toss for the aggro matchups. We could bring it in, gain some life as we uh, potentially smash face. Raptor is our choice against like decks that have heavy amounts of planeswalkers. So we still smash face, kill their planeswalker. It's nice in those given matchups, kind of like a uh, quote unquote questing beast. But that is what we're trying out today. Let's see the deck in action. Well, asses, Reef, Siren, say go. Brokes it. All right, we get rid of Trumping Carnosaur. All right, we draw a land. Put Siren in the yard. Say attack, say go. Put a Blood Crit. Fable, Throne, Tap, Hit you. Mountain, Raid. Attacks. Take it. Hopefully game two, we don't have these land issues. I had like three ha hands straight that had no lands in it. Uh, I will take the damage. Throne is too important. Harvester. Mill. Harvester. Say go. Actually will attack. I would love a land off the top. Possible. Swamp. Attacks. Attacks. We will try to trade up the braids. Gixie and Puppeteer. Drew land. That's first step. To success. Mill some cards. Looking for a Murpho. Two lands. Play a siren. Say go. Liliana. Claims my siren. Copies the puppeteer. Smashes my face. Alright, we block here. Take eight. Alright, gets back Gix. Mill. Crack the map. Hey, there's no way I can come back, right? So there's the land. Catholic. Copies. Blood Crypt tap. Yep. We never found a Murpho, though. Block. Die. Okay. I think up Cali Toss, down Olivia. Maybe down Rotting. Rossidon. Run on like that. Marsh. Say go. There's a Swamp and an Ashenon. Down a Red, I guess. Play My Mar uh, Meyer Triton. I just need to find him in the Throne. I got rid of a throne. That's not good. Blood Crip. Kropsa. Get rid of the Carnosaur. Drew a land. Play the Siren. Draw. Explore for a land. Play the Spring. Say go. We'll attack, actually. Iaria. Hax. We will offer the trade. Blood Crypt. Tap. Harvester. Get rid of the Regisar. Pass the turn. Takes my Harvester. Attacks. Trade. Larcenist. Play the Throne. Mill. Say go. Catholic. Hits me for three. Take it. Get rid of a Trumpeting. Triton. Siren. Harvester. Say go. We assembled the Grim Captain. Priest. Passes. So I think I play the Siren. Target there. Sadly, I think we need to get rid of the Throne. Go to combat. Attack. We will cast our Carnosaur. Cast a Larcenist. Eat the Priest. And smash. Alright, scoops it up. I think I want Tidebinder. Go down. Triton, Secret Keeper. Run it like that. Blood Crypt, Ashnot. So they go. I definitely should have played the Ridge. 
I think I'm going to cut the reef and the other uh, pain land for mana confluence. Priest. Put that on red, I guess I go. I guess I should have done blue because this technically is also red. Springs. Liliana. Attacks. Tax. Sacks it. Whips the lily. Take one. Gets back the priest. Bridge. Get rid of the lily. So I go. Restless events. Second lily. Attacks out. You have to sack the lily if you want to whip that. Hits me for two. Play attack and Numa. Play Kalitas. Kalitas. Sure. Takes it. Tax attacks. Take three. Sacks two. Sure. Whips the lily. Upticks. Get rid of the larcenist. The brone. Play the reef. Play the throne. Play the harvester. Mill myself. Say go. Broxa. Makes me get rid of my tide binder. Now the question is, what did you do with this lily? Probably upticks it. Braids. Okay, there goes my carny. Probably should attack with the zombie. Okay, attacks. Take it to nine. Say no. I can stack the blood token next turn. I mean, a uh, carnosaur, tide binder, siren, corpse appraiser. What my boy, grim captain. So now I go ahead and sack. Take out the priest. That probably makes him want to down tick this to get the priest back. Okay, so clearly he yeah sacked in response. There goes my grim captain. The board is kind of clean. And we say go. Okay, upticks. Another braid. Sack the blood. Play a tap land. All right, I guess we say go. I can't turn on the reef. I, even though I, I have to block the braids. It just sucks he's going to ultimate. So even though I'm killing the braids, I'm not actually progressing. Another lily. Attacks. Turn on the shark. Block. Gets back a priest. Gets back at the braids. Throne. Play a throne. Mill. Can I get this for the second time? Rumping Carnosaur, Secret Keeper, Arsonist, Kalitos. So I go. Then again, it means he has to use Priest and get rid of my Grim Captain again. I can't seem to keep it on the board. Looks like Croaks is coming back. Yep. And then he just sacks either Priest or Braids and wins. Probably Priest. So we end with a 0 1 record so far. Um, so we're going to get into the next. See the deck in action. Okay. Dead. Yep. Overgrown Tomb. Thoughtseize. Takes my appraiser. Of course, thoughts he's bug. Pathway siren. Say go. Pathway on green. Seder wayfinder. Passes. Reef. Use the map. Drew another land. Smack. Say go. Land or waste. Bean artisan. Attacks. Take it. Venture. Cast a merfolk. Play a blood crit. Tapped. Pass. Another satyr. So we have a merfolk. Vampire. We can get a pirate there. I'm gonna sack this wayfinder. Okay. Sacks the unsummoning sick. Gets the spider, snipes my dude. Seems reasonable. Corpse appraiser. Snipe the tyrant. None of these cards are helpful, but we'll take the carnosaur so we can pitch it next turn. Steam vents, untapped. Siren, say go. Play the soul of the lost. Play another soul of the lost. Attacks. Chomp with the merfolk. Kite sail. Pick a soul. Then a red. Play a harvester, say go. Attack you for one in the air. Attack a Numa. Gets back the spider. Snipes my larcenist. Smashes me. I think I double block here. Take nine. Watery grave. Untap. Play trumpeting carnosaur. Gas cast a siren. Go. Jared. Gerard maybe? Passes. Sacks the land. Gets another soul lost. Put that on red I guess. Put it on the carnosaur. Throne. Keep. We will go ahead and... Wait a minute. I'm one man away. I could crack a blood here. Play two to cast it. It's not enough. Crack the other map. Make my guy get bigger. Play rotting registrar. Say go. Uh, I lose to the witch. Okay. We really don't have graveyard hate. I guess gatekeeper is sort of graveyard hate. Go down to harvester. Praiser. Actually, appraiser is graveyard hate. Down just to har harvester. I don't like that. Steam vents untapped. Siren, say go. Land over waste. Snipes it. Brings. Mire Triton, say go. Land over waste. Stitcher supplier. Sprout. Attacks. We will offer a trade. Marsh. Appraiser. Eat the spider. Take a pathway. Priest. Passes. Put that on a red, I guess. Play Regisar. Put that on the appraiser. Kite sail. Think I keep. Say attack. Say go. I'm surprised he didn't jump with the supplier. He might want that for priest supplier. Sack double supplier. Okay. Get rid of the appraiser. Seder. Takes the swamp. Plays that said swamp. You have two mana left over. Thoughtseize. Takes my throne, I guess. That hurt. I was hoping to assemble. Exodia. Takes the gatekeeper. Get rid of the Olivia. Play the throne. Mill. 
go to combat. I think I have to hit. I got nothing else to, to work for. Smack kills my dude. Hulk. Wait a minute, I don't have a dino in the yard? Hmm. Pathway on green. Hits me. Take it. Spider. You sack the Wayfinder. Yeah, there goes our namesake card. Play the Larsonist. Eat the Priest. So I go. Eats my Cemetery Gatekeeper. Hits me for eight. Take it. Okay. Plays the Soul of the Lost. Priest. Passes. Draw land. Player dino. So I go. Eats my Olivia. So now I'm just down to Merfolk slash Pirate. Goes to combat. Tax attacks. Yeah, we don't have a choice. I think he wins, right? By double sacking priest, right? The he's first he sacks this and this two. This sacks this and this. And that's two. So it looks like we're gonna be going 0 and 2. I mean, with the jank deck, it's kind of difficult to actually win matches sometimes. So it is what it is. And this deck is super meme with throne. So what are you gonna do? Like I said 0 and 2. Let's get into the next. Castle Lock Lane passes. Steam Vents untapped. Venture Deeper passenger. So we had a pirate and a merfolk. Swamp Ven Lurker. Get rid of Larsonist. Springs Throne Mill. Say go. Hits me. Take it. But it's a Grim Dancer. Corpse Appraiser. I have two pirates. So I think I'm Mana Confluence. Corpse Appraiser. Eat the Siren. I guess take a Grave Mill. Say go. Does combat. Attempt to hit me. We trade. So I think I just need a Dino. That works. Play a Tap Land. Play Harvester. Say go. Tap the Throne. Say go. Kills my dude. Sure. Hits me. Take it. 13. Swamp. Cali Toss. Cracked. Get rid of Rotting. Get rid of the Rotting. The Mire Triton. Arsonist, Corpse Appraiser. Play Blood Crypt, Tapped, say go. Pray for no Edict, Swamp, Bolus of Citadel. Mire Trite, I mean, uh, Aetherborn, Underworld Dreams. Passes, we draw a card, who's a life? Watery Grave, Tapped. I think we need to gain some life here. Let's play Mire Triton, and for Buffer, for Edicts, we'll play Secret Keeper. Attack, Sax, we will say yes. Take the Kite Sail. Definitely eat the Aetherborn. Smack. Say go. Tamaret. That's a stone blocker right there. Kills my Mire Triton. Takanuma. Another Aetherborn. Gray Merchant. For 14. Is that what I've seen? Okay. Warlock class. Could should have reversed that. You would have done one more point. Attacks. We will block. Activates Warlock class. Go to two. Play Rotting Registrar. Play a tap land. Go to combat. Attack. Probably gonna sack the zombie. Oh, okay. That, I guess that counts. Oh, non-land burnman. Never mind. Do I get the dino or do I get corpse appraiser? Probably corpse appraiser. E a etherborn. Take harvester. Probably double block here. Double block there. Play the harvester. So I go. We got two more thrones in the deck. Second Temerat, which doesn't do anything. Obliterator. That yeah, and that's GG's. Okay. So I think I need tide binder. Down tritons. Up a Cali Toss, down Olivia. I don't like that. Canal, Siren, say go. Swamp, passes. Watery Grave, Throne, Mill, Attack, say go. So we have a Merfolk in the yard. That's good. Good start. Fatal Push. Now we got, now we got a Pirate. Swamp, Aetherborn, passes. Play Shores, Tap, Throne, Double Vampire, say go. Attacks, Takanuma. Underworld Dreams. Passes. Take a point of damage. Ridge. Calitas. Mill. Say go. There's our vampire. Or our dino. So we should be able to flip this. Nick those. I think this is our best curve out we've ever had. With the deck. Bracing an obliterator. Uh, attacks. Block. You go to 17. You go to 15. Play a siren. And attempt to get our throne. Carno, Tidebinder, Siren, Calitas. Say go. Calitas, Swamp, Gary. Hits me to four. Why didn't you just attack? Play a Cliffs. Target the captain. Corpse Appraiser, Bennett. Target here. Secret Keeper, Bennett. Mire Triton. Okay, go to five. This is nine. I mean, I guess, I mean, I have to attack, right? Yeah, if he plays a Gary, I'm just dead. Sacks the dreams. We hard cast a Carney. 
we get a secret keeper not really doing anything that is like a decent blocker for obliterator though or sack fodder both things have trample so they're not as bad against obliterator double blocks triple blocks so nine i could make only a single point of damage all right whatever that's fine so obliterator goes we sack here 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 there so i go warlock class Watch him dig into another obliterator. Attacks. We block. We lose a life. Hive. That's not completely irrelevant. Go to combat. Attack. Hits me. Another obliterator. Hmm, another land. That's not helpful. So I guess we turn on a hive. Try to convince him to stay back with the zombie. Go to combat. Attack. Eat the other Frixied obliterator. I was at the Prelude, somehow we had a kite, kite sail. Pays in a Warlock class. So that means we're just dead, right? Because this thing, there's no profitable way. And if we take five from this, I'm pretty sure we die by the that. So it's either I die by losing everything and taking two, or we go out with honor and die this way. Yeah, so 0-3. Get to the wrap up. So what are we going this week about this deck? Overall, I figured this deck was going to end up being the worst deck of the season. We did manage to pull a game win. That's something. But outside of that, I figured this deck would be the worst performing. The restrictions on Throne of Grim Crap of Grim Captain is kind of extreme. We basically have to trade in all a lot of our re the good interaction just to play creatures. To hopefully fill those gaps. And I figured this would be the best. Close to the most optimal list. Harvester is great on its own. Appraiser is just a really good magic card. Carnosaur is one of the best. Interaction pieces we have. Same with Larsenist. So I figured it had to be. Uh, Grixis. Instead of Jund. Which is the other alternative. Um, yeah actually it had to be. It had to be. Grixis because of Harvester. Larsenist and Carnosaur are the best options for each of the tribes. So, like, it's very tricky to put this deck together. Like I said, we take a huge hit on the, you know, interaction that we need to be able to win games. And uh, we managed to only win one, win one game, which is kind of bad. But, like I said, I figured this deck would be worse than the Millennium Calendar, which I think we want to match with. So, like... The Millennium Calendar at least has the potential of being infinite, and the payoff for the inf the count the calendar is at least you know can win the game. Uh, turns out like a, a seven seven menace hexproofer is not that hard to deal with in Pioneer. Overall, it's much easier to probably win with it in Standard, but even then, I think it's kind of bad. So. If you have any considerations at all for this list, let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification before you head out that door. And until next time, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.